I'm gonna ignore all of it. Alrighty, and we're back with Android Central Live at SDC 13. And you know, this is a Samsung conference and we've got somebody who's deeply involved with uh, a big part of this conference here. We've got Alan Queen, who's heading up the multi-screen SDK team for That's Samsung. Right. And there was a lot of talk at the keynote, at everything else we're talking about, the smart TVs and then the tablets and the phones and sure. how, you know, the home sync, how we make this all work. You know, what is your guys' big goal? I know you guys haven't been at Samsung too long, but um, how are things working out right now at this point? Well, the, the feedback has been fantastic, right? So what we're really trying to do is create a, an entire ecosystem for multi-screen that is not just about the, the Samsung TV, but also about mobile devices. And it's really about being cross-platform on right. mobile devices. So we have APIs for JavaScript, for Android, of course, and for iOS as well. Right. So we're looking to really um, you know, expand the entire you know, global you know, developer market from, from mm -hmm. mobile applications to expand their apps to the TV. Right, and you know, that's really important because you know, even if you may have all Samsung devices, you know, your friend may come over with an iOS device or Absolutely. something else or just a laptop and you know, be able to open it up and you don't want that, um, that difficult experience of getting everything hooked up. And I'm sure that that's a, big, that's a big part of getting these apps integrated is how the heck do you get things to just, just work Magically and kind of work. have that magic uh, going. Is that something that you're, obviously you're really, really focused on, but how do you translate that, translate that over to the third party developers that are, that are well, making apps Well, the way happen? we've been kind of approaching it is um, we want to provide sort of four key areas uh, for both users and developers, right? We, we, can, uh, we typically call that the discovery phase, okay. um, the launch phase, the, the connect phase, and the communication phase. So if you think about a typical experience, we want to make it really easy for your mobile device to discover a compatible device mm -hmm. in the room, right? Um, and there's a really simple API to do that, and it's across okay. the board. Um, and of course, to connect to that device or launch experiences onto the TV from mm -hmm. your mobile device. Um, and what that really means is I can actually create an HTML5 um, cloud-based application hosted on my own site as a developer, and then from a mobile device, uh, with one click, I can launch that experience on the TV loads in. Now, once the application is loaded on the TV, we can actually uh, you know, provide all the connectivity and message exchange between those devices. So you can create some pretty amazing things from games to social to you know, any type of application you can imagine. Right, so once they kick it off, then it all gets handled. And once you're connected, then the real fun begins, That's of course. Right. That's you right. know, we saw demos during the keynote of you know, putting up real-time uh, scores for sports games sure. while you're watching them or, you know, uh, complimentary information on your phone, you know, throwing things back and forth. That's right. What are some of the um, most interesting things that you're seeing people, you know, expanding once you've given them the SDK? Uh, well, it's been pretty early on, so the, the main people that we gave the SDK to was Pandora, actually. So they uh, did a demo at the keynote as well, which is pretty cool. So, you know, from the Pandora, you know, mobile application, it'll discover a compatible smart TV, and then suddenly you can uh, shift that experience to the TV. Right, so people a lot of times think we're actually um, uh, streaming the audio from the mobile device to the TV. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're doing. We're actually launching an experience on the TV with Pandora, and then uh, the communication mechanism allows the TV to take over, sort of uh, you know, take over the audio stream from that point. And then, of course, you can use the mobile device as a controller to control the audio, to pause, next, uh, go to the next song. Right. And uh, they can also take advantage of some really cool features that the smart TV offers already, right? So we did a, a demo, some picture in picture kind of thing. So right. you're listening to Pandora, you can overlay on top of live TV, pull it back a little bit, however you want to do that. So those are the kind of things that we're really interested in. Um, also in games, right? We think multiplayer right, gaming, multi-screen you know, multi gaming is huge, mm -hmm. right? We really want to enable like everyone in the living room, everybody using their mobile device, iOS, Android, maybe a mobile web client, you know, to connect to the TV. Right. And you don't you want know. everybody huddling around somebody sitting on the couch holding a little phone. Yeah. You want to, you know, display their gameplay, you know, get multiple people involved, you know, real time, uh, you know, a shooting game or a, you know, a racing game where they're all playing against each other, right? That's right, that's right. And it's, it, again, it's not about casting the content to the TV. Um, as a matter of fact, once the experience is loaded on the TV, all the mobile devices can come and go. It doesn't matter, the experience is now running on the TV, but any mobile device that joins that experience can actually connect and communicate just like any other could. Right, and that's all about, all about that seamless experience that you talk about, mm -hmm. you know. You don't want somebody that, you know, has to go walk out of the room and then you have to reset up the entire thing, right? That's right. You just want people to come and go as they please. Yeah, there's no change of inputs on the TV, right? We don't have to switch between HMI inputs or anything like that. Um, and of course, we don't want one mobile device to control the entire experience. So it's about that, you know, again, that seamless experience, mm -hmm. both for the, in the home and also public spaces. So it's something that we're very interested in. 
Uh, right now, we're providing a Wi-Fi only sort of connectivity solution. Okay. Um, but coming soon is going to be our cloud connectivity solution. So you can imagine, uh, you know, stadiums or you know, uh, go to your favorite bar right. and everybody's uh, playing songs or you know, playing trivia from their mobile device. Right. It's kind TV. of you could have a, a digital jukebox going on or something. Everybody's sure. Sure. lining up to get their stuff in there, and you don't have to you know walk up and put coins. And those are machine. always <laughs> the most basic experiences, right. right? We hope people come up with something a little more creative than that. Right. Know? But the, the whole goal is provide them the tools to make these things. Right. And that's what STC is all about just providing the tools and so you guys said that you've just opened up the SDK a few people have access to it yes um, how is that going to expand going forward now? okay so we're going to be launching a, an open beta uh, on 11 12 13 okay uh, it's sort of the marketing term behind that right um, and that'll be uh, in conjunction with the smart TV 5.0 uh, SDK beta and uh, people will be able to download an emulator for the TV oh, great. and actually uh, an entire experience. You can discover the emulator, you can launch content in it just like a normal TV. And then of course uh, the TVs themselves will be released uh, early 2014. So it's about preparing people for what's coming for 2014. Right. And then uh, uh, sometime in the year 2014 we'll also do a backwards uh, um, upgrade for 2013 models and possibly even before. And then by that point hopefully there'll be lots of uh, you know great experiences being built all the way you know that's Absolutely. really important get the SDK out to the developers first they can that's start right. working with it you know you want somebody to you know get that update or get that new TV and all of a sudden you know there's dozens of different experiences that they can try out you know with their phones and everything. Absolutely sort. right. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, Alan, talk to us. I'm sure you know SDC 13 is just the kicking off point for all this and uh, really you know, multi-screen uh, and beyond as well. Thank really, you very much. Really appreciate it, Alan. Thanks. Alrighty, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us for just a little bit. We're going to switch things out and have more people uh, up here to interview.